Hey, okay, I'll get started. There's three guys picking, right? Oh, sorry. Professional. Professional. Know your role and shut the fuck up! Professional. ever sing again. You need to fucking play the right chords. Just because you fuck up, you stop and taught me from singing? That was the right chords. You messed up. I did not. You messed up. I did not. And she knows that I'll always be there. That's why she's a willing man. Now and then I've been wanting... Shut it. You don't fucking let him hit me. That's why you're the extra. Welcome back to Three Guys Picking. The most electrifying cable accident show in Chicago! And also the world! I'm your host Tyler, with me as always is Brody. That's me. And that's it. There's yeah. no one else here. Nobody else here. Just some beer. And a guitar. And we coming up in a bit, motherfucking Jeff Keith. Jeff with two Fs. We have an excellent show for you here Awesome! Today. For a record third time. Well, actually, could he be the fourth? Because mm. remember the time you like interrupted him when he was leaving the hotel? And, and his wife filmed for you? For a record, fourth time. Fourth time. Lead singer of Tesla. Well, no, no, because he wasn't in with the first time we interviewed Frank and Tommy. So this is his third time. Todd with Frank Hannon. Third time. For most appearances ever on 3GP other than me. Yeah, I, I got more than you. Lead singer of Woo! Tesla. I've been Stopped on this show more than anybody. Minutes. Stopped in for a few minutes to show some love Dude, and to talk about shit. Tesla. And it was a great show. You know, he's a great guy, great singer. He's a really cool guy. The really whole crew cool. um, just made us feel like family. Tesla rocks! That's right. Yeah, so uh, tell us, you know, what it's been like, you know, forging this relationship with, with a band that you, you know, idolized uh, your whole life. I mean, they're, you know, you're kind of contemporaries. You're around the same age, you know? Uh, I think well, they're a little. They're a little, a couple years old. He's pretty old, folks. I mean, go ahead, and email us, call us in. Let's let's have a let's have a fucking contest. How old is Tyler the Fat Man? You know, and whoever gets closest, you get a beer. Anyway, uh, we got an interview here with Jeff Keefe of Tesla. So why don't you just sit back and let's watch the professionals, i.e., not you. What are you talking about, dude? You heard me, dude. I check it out. At least I didn't fucking piss off Bruce Campbell. Well, that would have required you showing up for work that day. Then we never tried on you. And you were afraid to show up and even talk to him. Dude, I was doing a camp. Yeah, whatever. I had to fucking make whatever. some money. What was that? A soccer camp? <laughs> yeah. Wuss. Thank, 
fucking make more money in a week than you make in a fucking month on my can. Still bitch. was. Let me go make a t-shirt. Let me send my t-shirt designs. Liberace made a lot of money. That didn't make him any stronger. Let me send my t-shirt designs out to Ethiopia so some kids can work for two cents an hour. Yeah, he made that. Ooh, Tyler designed this shirt. Way to go! Put an E on a black shirt! <laughs> yeah! They've had enough out of you. One, oh, two, three! I'm up, I'm up, I'm up! Blah. My shoulder was up. Can you? Come on, my shoulder was up. I got your shoes. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 you fat fuck. <laughs> Don't ever interrupt me again. Dude, you are so fat. Ooh, pizza's ready. Sitting here with Jeff Keith, the lead singer of Tesla. Glad to have you back. In the background, we hear uh, Winds of Change by the Scorpions. It's awesome, man. We were the, the first time we, we toured with them was over in Europe. I think uh, the Psychotic Supper Days, and that's when this song was a major hit. And we toured just about every city in Germany with these guys. And it's great to be playing with them in the United States and here in Italy. Last time we had you on the show, End of the Now just came out. So now we're looking at like six months later, you guys have toured for a while, you've played the songs. What are your thoughts on the record now, now that you've had some time to live with it? Um, I think it's great, man. I mean, we pulled off what we didn't, uh, weren't too sure that it was possible. We produced it ourselves, you know, and uh, we all agreed came together and agreed on everything and uh, it's probably the first album that we agreed on everything and, and, and all came together and like I said it was uh, us calling all the shots too. Very proud of it. Oh, it sounds great. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about uh, record companies and the releasing of singles. 
basically how do they go into that? It seemed like back in the day uh, when the album came out, they'd release like the hard rock song first, like your Dr. Feelgood or your Pound yeah. Cake. And uh, what is it with now? Because I thought for sure Into the Now should have been like the lead single to punch everyone in the face. Well, that's what we wanted to do too. But in, in uh, back in the day, your biggest hit, what you figured was your biggest hit, was always the second song. The first one was to establish the kind of band that you are, like if you're a hard rock band, the hard rock song, and then come in with your hit, and if that was a big enough hit, then what they thought was the next hit. But today, it's all about, they want, they don't want the one, two, they want the two first. And so we were not crazy about coming out with Caught in a Dream first, and, uh, but you know what? Like I said, it's the way they work these days, and we had to say, hey, man, it's all about into the now, and that's how it works, and, you know, uh, they just want to put all their energy into what they think is the biggest hit. So we were not crazy about it, you know? We were calling all the shots, we would have came out with into the now, and then Caught in a Dream, but... Hello? Hey, what's up? Uh, filming our TV show? What are you doing? Oh, you're not done. Alright, I'll probably be back in about an hour. Should I call this number? Okay. Um, I have no plans. I can just get you guys out anywhere. Cool. Bye. Awesome. Hey, welcome back to Three Guys Picking. That was Dave the Extra giving us a call in, telling us how things are going. You can See, turn around. Way. You can turn around now, dude. Time out's up. So anyway, we hope you're enjoying the uh, Jeff Keith show. You know. Cool thing about Jeff Keith and Tesla is they've just been really open to embracing 3GP and, and the three guys picking away. And the first time that Jeff Keith ever met Tyler was in the lobby of the hotel. Where was it? The Hard Rock? House of Blues. House of Blues, that's what I meant. And here's, you know, Tyler. Oh, look at me, I have long hair. Jeff, I have a camera. Will you talk to me? Jeff, will you talk to me? And then, you know, Jeff was kind enough to, you know, give a couple seconds, you know, but that's just, don't touch him. That's just, you know, the essence of, of who those people are, who Tesla is. You know, they just they care about the fans, they care about the music. They're not in this for, you know, their own glory like a lot of other people out there today who are just like, oh, I'm here, worship me. You know, they're cool dudes. So, hope you've enjoyed this uh, Jeff Keith episode so far. Now, uh, extra. Never mind, you're the extra. So, what you got there, buddy? Just what you give. Well, you know, it's not what you got, it's what you give. So, uh, we already made this mistake once before. Let's just go back and enjoy the interview with Jeff Keith from Tesla. <laughs> Consensus among your fans is uh, what a shame. It's like just a killer song. Uh, how come that wasn't the second single? Um, actually, it's the one that we're gonna. I think a campaign. Gonna... They're working up a campaign for that song in January. That's awesome. I'm looking that, forward to that. Man. that I I don't know what it is about this song. The tone, like your voice. And, you know, the lyrics are really good. But it's like for me. I mean, you could be singing anything. I just the way the whole tone of the song sounds. The guitar, your voice, the melody. It's a great pop song.
You were on Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, what can you tell us about that? What was that experience? You know, that like? was awesome, man. That was our 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 uh, TV debut, and uh, you know we kind of hoped that it maybe would open some doors to do some more. But uh, Jimmy Kimmel was. He seemed very sincere and loved having us on the show, and he's a big Tesla fan, and it was a lot of fun, you know? And uh, pretend like we're all asleep on the pool table, and all that stuff, man, it was cool. And then what was cool about it is it's Jimmy Kimmel Live in New York at midnight, but in L.A., they, it, it, it's, you know, it was taped at like 9 o'clock, I believe, or no, yeah, 9 o'clock. And so we taped the whole show, and then they said, all right, everybody, now get out of the studio and go watch yourself on TV. So we all ran back to the hotel and, and uh, the Sportsman Lodge in, in L.A. and watched ourselves on national TV. It was cool, man. Because here in Chicago, it doesn't come on until after midnight because of the Oprah rerun. So by the time you run, it was like 10 to 1 in, in the morning. So, really? Yeah, I was up on my couch. Uh, Oprah has a lot of power in Chicago, huh? Hold me close now, hold me tight Don't let go of me tonight All I want to run out of me Hold me close, hold me tight Don't let go of me tonight you're not adjusting to my vocal uh, stylings. Nobody could adjust to your vocals. And speaking of vocals, we have the lead singer of Tesla, Jeff Keith, sat down with us after a show at the Rosemont Horizon. Yes, it's not the All-State Arena, folks. It's the Rosemont Horizon. Just like Comiskey Park is Comiskey Park and not sell you a crap field. Well, what about that place in San Francisco? Candlestick? www.3.com fucking shit. No, it's, they monster. Tore it's Monster Park now. They changed it? They yeah. tore it down. No, they just, it's still oh. there. That's where the Niners play, dude. And that's, oh. why, that's why you don't speak. Talking! What does that E stand for, idiot? It stands that's for it. You're fired. elementary. El Morano. I thought it was Latin. Dude, you almost sucked it in. Anyway. We have with us lead singer of the band Tesla. You know, and Tesla, they've been, you know, obviously they've been around for a long time. They came on the music scene at a young age and just kept rocking on. And I'll tell you what, you know, these guys kind of define music for a whole generation. I mean, I know for myself, going up through high school and shit, like, you know, Love Song and then Five Man Fusil Jam came out and then Psychotic Supplements. They're always just motherfucking rocking. You know, to have them on 3GP all these times has been great. So. Reminds me of one, one time when I went to a donut shop to get a donut and then some coffee. The coffee was way too hot and I couldn't drink the coffee because it was too hot. So I let it sit there. Hopefully it would cool off, but it didn't. It was still too hot. So I read the newspaper for a while. Unfortunately, it was the USA Today. You know what the USA Today did? They raised their price from 50 cents up to 75 cents. Who the fuck do you think you are, USA Today, that your paper is worth 75 cents? Did you improve it at all? Did you add pages? Did you add a section? Is there a sports section, a front page section, a life section, a money section, and a Tesla section? Hell no! It's the same shit! You don't cover Tesla anymore, but you charge people 75 cents. And you know something? You know what I say? Boycott motherfucking USA Today, because it ain't worth 75 cents. Go buy yourself a Sun Times, buy yourself a Tribune, buy yourself a Cincinnati Inquirer, buy yourself a Herald Dispatch if you're in fucking West Virginia. Go buy a motherfucking USA Today. It's bullshit. Um, what? This is our Jeff Keith. Well, I know. I said about the Tesla section in the USA Today. I thought that kind of tied it in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just a bad person. I'm just a bad. Pete Townsend, go ahead and spank me. No, don't. Jeff Keith, check it out.
appeared on our program before. How has your life changed since appearing? Uh, you must have sold 10 million records in Chicago alone. 10 million alone just in Chicago, man. I feel like a big star. <laughs> uh, quick, I want to ask you about your voice. Like, what do you do to, like, keep that in shape? I mean, for me, like, when I get up, I'm like, every, I have to concentrate really hard to just hit every note. And then I see you up on stage, and you may have a few beers, and you're just, you know, you're having fun, but you hit the note every single, and it makes me mad. Well, <laughs> yeah. first of all, man, you got to be feeling it. And that's my philosophy. You know, I don't train my voice like I should, and I wouldn't recommend, you know, the way I do it. But also with the beers, that's how it used to be. But since Tommy's back, um, we all went clean and sober with him. So uh -huh. there's no warm beer buzz, uh, no talk about it. It's just pure Tesla and uh, Tommy's back and that's what counts. The most important thing is having Tommy in the band, not, you know, catching a bus as much as I love to catch a bus. Yeah, because I've said to you guys before, it's like there's something missing when it's not the five of you. It is. It's the magic of us five. That's what, what, what Tesla's all about. Sing with you. I sang with Frank the other day. We did a little Folsom Prison Blues, you know. But I'll tell you what, Jeff Keith's voice was kind of the voice of a generation. I mean, it was very unique. Just, you know, he hit the high notes, but you know, you could tell that it was coming from a soul, it was coming from love. And the guy just is full of emotion and he's, he loves fucking music, you know. Like we saw, I don't know, it was a couple years ago at the Vic when they were on their, uh, their last acoustic tour, you know, the Replug Live, you know, before the Replug Live album came out and they were acoustic and first, you know, when we talked to Tommy and Frank and, you know, just watching them sit up there, they're all sitting in stools just, just jamming, but fucking Jeff's up there and he's singing, he's got a fucking huge smile on his face, like he just, he loves what he's doing, which is totally anti, you know, 21st century music, you know, you got all these scowlers, these Guys that go up there, oh, you're paying us money, and I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off at the world, and oh, even though I'm gonna wear a flannel and scowl all the time, you know, fuck those guys. The world needs more people like Jeff Keith and Tesla. The world needs more people that love what they're motherfucking doing on the stage, rocking it from east coast to west coast, north to south, A to Z. What's up now? The yeah. ceiling. Shut up. You know, E just is not the second letter of Tesla. It means you don't fucking talk. You're gonna say something, Tyler. Go ahead, man. We need to not give him the soapbox ever again. You know, it ain't no motherfucking soapbox. Okay. It's a motherfucking soap state. I run the shit. 3GP, bro D, we are the stuff E. And don't even start with that rap crap. Why don't we get back to some real music? My name is Easy E. I got bitches galore. You may have a lot of bitches, but I got much more. Dude, we still got more time on this segment. I'm just so real. Why do you gotta be a dick all the time? You know, we got you know one of your favorite singers of all well, time on the show, and you're being dick a dick. Dick is my name. Oh wait, that's Richard. That's not my name. Okay. So shuddy. I don't understand that. My name is Brody. Besides, there's no K in Richard. Richard means fucking motherfucking king, leader, stud, badass. And what does king start with? K, dick, thank you. <laughs> Check and mate. Chicken mate? Check and he mate. He likes to mate with chickens. That's a stretch. You're a stretch. Your mom's a stretch. <laughs> really? Really? Say, why don't you say something <laughs> more about my mom? What are you going to do? What are you gonna 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 do? Check out motherfucking 
don't you have teeth? I hate you. Do you guys have any plans for a, a new Tesla DVD? Well, our manager, uh, Sterling over there, might know some more than me. He knows all the facts. Me, I'm just the singer. What do I know? But we've done a lot of footage for DVDs, but we just um, haven't been able to put something together yet for whatever reason. But we've got a lot of good footage. Um, it just hasn't panned out yet. Well, because if you guys are ever short on material, I know a little show in Chicago that would be happy to contribute. Ooh, well, maybe uh, we should uh, check that out and maybe put something on any final thoughts? Anything you'd like to say to the people of Chicago? Uh, thanks for always being there, Chicago. And we love you for it. And we would, we would be nothing without you guys. And thanks for being such a big inspiration to us. But you're miles away, miles away. Could you be so long? Because you're miles away.